Hey guys, I just decided to do an overview of my sewing machine. Um, I've been putting it off for a while, so I apologize. Um, but I decided to go ahead and do it now and get it over with. Um, it is the Project Runway Limited Edition, but it's not really Limited Edition because it's been out for years. I guess. Because um, I got my machine last summer, and excuse my nails. Um, it is the Brothers model number CE8. 080 PRW. So let's get kind of get a run through. Um, this is just a standard sewing machine. Um, there's your presser foot, the um, back the back stitching, and these are for the stitch control and everything. And then you have your tension dial. Your bobbin, th your bobbin threader, and then your threaders in the back, and then all the stitch options. And I've actually used quite a bit of these. I didn't think I would, but for the paid for the um, for the machine, whether I use them all or not, the fact is they're available to me. I rather have them and not use them than want to use something similar to these and then not have them. So um, first off, when you turn it on. There's a little switch over here, and if you hear noise in the background, I apologize. My cat is kind of running around the house going bonkers. So, um, yeah, and you pick your stitch that you want, and then you just you just do this, and it'll tell you what, um, let me zoom in, it'll tell you what presser foot to use, whether it's J, um, N, I forgot. I'm trying to just guess. Let me see. 54. I'm on that one. Let's try 36. See if that's different. Oh, there's A. Yeah, so there's different presser feet, you know, that come with it. And it'll tell you um, which presser foot to use and all that other stuff. So that way you don't break your needle. And I really like that. Um... Um, and I also love the fact that it's a um, drop down bobbin right here that is I, I just find it more convenient more easier when it comes to changing out the bobbins um, you just you have your bobbin you know just your standard bobbin and then you um, oops you put it in and then you just follow this little guide if I can get it there we go and then you just snap off the end piece pop the cap back on if I can put it on right and there you go you're good to go let's move that piece there you go and you're ready to sew it has a um, an automatic threader which is really easy um, but I don't really use it I just usually just pop it through myself because um, I always forget that it's there anyways um, this comes off let me see oops let me try to zoom out this piece comes out and it's got like a little storage thing but I don't really use that part um, but I do remove it if I need to if I need to do like um, smaller sleeves or hems or anything like that that is perfect top view of the sewing machine this shows and it shows you how to do everything there's no excuse for you saying you can't maneuver this machine um, there's the bobbin you put the bobbin on there and you pop it that way and you hit the um, the pedal um, and it just winds everything up perfectly there's this when you're done pop this off and it folds back for easy storage um, and it shows you how to properly thread goes down I mean everything is is there for you as far as to learn how to thread here's the back of the machine there's really not much going on here um, I recently discovered this the only thing that I was upset after I got this and everything and I realized that the teeth didn't go down to where that way you can free the teeth come up and it'll grab the fabric from underneath and it'll help guide it but there's also a way to drop the teeth so that way you could um, free do it so that way you know it's it's better on like um, what is it um, like mesh or when you're working with tool um, 
I totally forgot the other fabric. <laughs> but anyways, you know, stuff like that. The real thin, silky, you know, that you don't want the teeth to imprint because sometimes that'll happen. And all you do is, I have to look. For the teeth up, that's what it's currently on. And then for the te teeth, excuse me, the teeth, the teeth to go down, you just pop it over that way. I'm not sure if you've seen that. But you just hit that and they go down. I was amazed at all the accessories that came with it. These are just a few. Um, I don't know where the rest of my stuff is. It's floating around my sewing station somewhere. And I didn't feel like searching for it to get it directly. So first, oops, first we'll start off with the um, seam ripper. Um, this thing is my best, <laughs> my best friend. I need to get a new one because this is just a standard one that came with my machine. However, it works, but I think it could be a little bit better. So I have my seam ripper. It came with a bunch of bobbins. And I mean, I want to say like six to eight bobbins. There's three here, one in the machine, and then the others are in my box that are in near um, my sewing stuff that I keep in my room. Um, it came with a sewing gauge. Um, I believe that's what it's called. I'm not really good at the, the lingo for a lot of this stuff. I know what I want when I see it, but I don't know the exact name of it. I think that's a sewing gauge. If I'm wrong, no, it, it didn't come with this one. This is this uh, one I got in the kit. Where's the other one? I d it did come with one though, but I'd have to find it. But anyways, it came with the sewing gauge. Um, then it came with a button, um, button foot thingy I guess button button presser foot or yeah anyways to do buttons so it came with that has this little brush tool it came with um, three things of needles it has this one this one which I'm not sure what it's for because I'm still using the same needle that I had and it also came with a double needle or a two-headed needle however you want to call it um, but that is, I cannot find it. And I had it last night when I was working on a project. Oh well. Um, it came with this extension, the spool extension. It came with these guards to help hold the spools on, different sizes. And it came with this little gadget thingy. It's a screwdriver looking thing to when you want to change out um, the, what you call it, on the where the presser foot is. And it came with these um, these feet. Um, it had, I think I'm missing two. But it had a bunch of them. And only three of them that I use, which is the main one that, or the standard presser foot. Then there's this one that I use for doing um, serging to do my, um, my edges. Because I don't have a serger at the moment. And then my zipper foot. Those are the main ones that I use. Um, I'm not sure what this one is for. I think this one is for like the special designs when you're doing like the floral um, embroidery style designs on the machine. And then I'm not sure what this one exactly is for. This one is R. I'm going to show you. So if you know what it is, you can tell me. But I don't know where the book is to look it up. But this one is R and this is what it looks like. And this one is J. I think this is just the standard embroidery one. So yeah, but these two, I love this one. This one helps me surge so much to clean up my edges for, you know, for fraying and everything. I really love that. And of course, my standard, you know, zipper foot. So yeah, this is my, so this is my machine. I love it. So far, I haven't had any problems with it, and um, I've had it since last April. I mean, not April, um, between May and June, somewhere around there, I picked it up. I think it was more in June, because I had just started class for summer when I decided to start um, sewing again. So that's everything on my machine, and again, it is the Project Runway Limited Edition. Um, 
Brothers CE808PRW. I hope you like this video and thumbs up if you want to see more like this with sewing, you know, and tips like that. And leave your comments below and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.